hello everybody. If you happen to be a concurrent or returning viewer, then you know that I have recently ended the hardcore run on episode 105, right before the Blaze of Glory, which was supposed to be a horde night every single night until I died. Now it doesn't quite sit right with me with the fact that I literally died on the day that that was supposed to start happening. Talk about removing all the fun. And I died from gravity, of all things. So, in order to fix that, I have decided that we're going to do a horde night. Every night, on 300% XP, so that we level faster, higher game stage, less time to get resources. And, let's turn it off of public. We don't need random people joining in now, do we? Blood Moon frequency, once a day. Blood Moon count, 64 zombies. Everything else, apart from the death penalty, as this will in fact be permanent. We'll be starting in with nothing, and that's exactly how we like it. So, welcome to episode 1 of the Horde Rush. Back at it again. We have hardcore. Good old permit death. We have max zombie count 64. And on top of all that, we have a horde night every single night. This is the comeuppance. I, I see a town, I'm assuming, in the distance there. Might have to go to it. Seems like the objective. We're gonna be winter dwellers for this series, I suppose. This series is a bit of a comeuppance, a call out, a revenge point for our poor, long lost. I had to mark that call there, but our poor, long-lost hardcore series. Wait, is that? That's just a house. That's not a town, right? Just a house? Just a big house. Is it just a big house? Is that a whole trader or something? No, I'll assume that's just a house. But the first thing we have to do is find civilization. Uh, we can't really base up in the winter biome until we get some clothes, so we'll come back to that. Guess we'll have to follow this road, then. We're gonna have to think of something relatively quickly for the Horde Night, as when you first start a world, it comes in at, what was that, 7 o'clock? So you don't have too much time to work with. Typically, I would start my episodes at about 4 o'clock, as that's when the morning ring-a-ding-dong occurs. Now, because we're doing a Horde Night every night, I think I'm going to stick with my comfort zone. I'm not looking to mix up classes or anything, or get too convoluted with it, or try anything too new because, well, we'll die. As is our goal with literally every series we ever start. If we can, I'd like to make it to episode 100. Iron, I don't have to mark that. That's everywhere. Perhaps I should get a weapon before I run into town. Oh, well, that is a town, isn't it? Just a long stretch, or it looks like the beginnings of a town. Let's go ahead and get some wood. If I could just maybe a little faster. I'd like to get a little bit faster now. One more. There we go. Crap. I need a rock. Right here should do. Right? Stone axe? Do I need two? Of course I do. Let's get the plant fibers and look around for a rock. Here we are. Wonderful. I love how quick that crafts. Now I have set it up to 300% XP, and you might say, oh, but that'll give you an advantage. Wrong. Very wrong. Early on in a series like this, where you're going to be having a horde night every night, the amount of time that you have to collect resources without leveling up is everything. So since I'll be leveling faster, it's going to make this that much harder, because the game stage will be increasing and I won't be getting the resources to match it. Figured I'd add a little extra entertaining layer, a price paid for literally designing the very structure that would cause my death in the hardcore series, and I would say price paid. This is going to be quite fun. Is this just an old western town? I'm assuming there's no trader here. So it appears to be a saloon. Very interesting. What is that? Oh. <laughs> I thought that was an actual bear for a moment, and then I was like, wait, they're not that small. Whoopsie. Let's just keep following this road and hope that we can find an actual town, because this one, I don't think really counts. It's more like a pseudo-town. It's where the LARPers go. I'm going to be sprinting a lot, aren't I? Might not have time to actually build a horde base. No. I will collect wood. That'll be my priority right now. And I'll set up some building blocks. I think, if I remember correctly, the way the horde nights work is it's based off of A, your level, and B... The amount of zombies is based off of the day. So on day one, they can only send so many after you. Rifle parts, I can sell those. I'll never actually use them. Let's go ahead and collect a little bit of stone here. Ah, right. Oh, I don't have any levels. Damn. Oh yeah, I have the quest thing to do. Forgot about that. Might as well finish this business. Craft a bedroll, whatever. And craft it. No, oh, they really want you to place it, huh? Not that it matters. I'm gonna be dying anyway. Drop that. Go ahead and collect a little bit more stone. You want me to craft another stone ass? Fine. I see how it is. Can't just retroactively recognize them. Plant fiber pants. Specifically pants. They don't make you craft anything else. Love it. Now that we've got that, we want what? Wooden club? That should probably be enough stone. Wouldn't hurt to have a melee weapon. Don't want to kill everything with a stone ass after all. Need more plant fibers. Easy peasy. Need a bow and an arrow. Probably scrap those immediately. Don't need them filling my inventory. Accidentally just favorited the arrows. Grabbed one of these. Ooh, not that. Put it on the bar. Lace. Upgrade. Now we need a campfire. We know these steps. Just gotta get them out of the way real quick. Boom. Done. Now that I've asserted my dominance between these two rocks, 
marked my territory. The nearest trader is 1.5 kilometers back where I just came from. Uh-oh. Sounds like we've got a trader in the middle of nowhere, right? Wait, what the? Oh, he is. Oh, wait, he's way up there. I might freeze to death on my way to him, but here we go. Actually, no, did I get skill points for that? I did. Oh, he's still alive. The hell, man? Why well, you gotta be like that? You jerk. All right, what's I doing? I need building blocks, and many of them. I can make a quick pseudo horde base, in case we need it, assuming night falls before we find a real town, because if this trader is not the one we want, we're gonna have to follow a road until we find one in a town. If the game ever starts you out with a trader in the middle of nowhere, seriously, just go follow a road to a town. There's always a trader somewhere in a town, usually on the corners, and that'll save you so much stress, so much hassle, since I have more skill points. First things first, we gotta put points in a minor 69er. Two points into strength and another into minor 69er, so we can get more wood faster. Faster, better, stronger. Daft Punk knew exactly what to do. Or is it harder, better, faster? I don't remember. I haven't heard that song in several eternities. I just got done doing the first episode of Darkness Falls yesterday, and I... <laughs> My my muscle memory is telling me to do this to get athletics levels, and then I remember, oh, there's no action skills in vanilla. Then again, that's why I'm so comfortable doing a horde night every night with vanilla. You can get away with a lot in this compared to Darkness Falls, where you can't get away with anything. It's get good or go away with that mod. But it's also insanely fun. If you just turn it down to scavenger difficulty, it's an insanely entertaining mod that will give you so much more longevity for the game than vanilla could ever give. I vote Kane for seven days to die president. We need him to go in and just take over the Fun Pimps entire operation. Hello, zombie man. I wouldn't mind getting some more XP. If I remember correctly, the standard is 400 XP, so they should give, what, 1200, I think? He just activated his little rage mechanic, trying to sprint at me. Rude. Yeah, 1200 XP. That's pretty good. Let's get some more building blocks and cut down some more trees. Probably should have repaired my ass first. Hold on, stop that. You repair. Now get back to building. 240 is a bit excessive. I don't think I need that many for my build. I'm just gonna go up about three blocks and then set down a hatch, essentially with some walls on the side, then boom, done. You've got yourself a little crappy melee base. Really good for portable situations in these early episodes. I'm assuming, I might be horribly wrong about this, but I'm assuming there won't be too many zombies to deal with. We might actually finish them off before the Horde Knight actually finishes, and that will give us time to dig or collect resources, while the ominous red air is still rolling around. Should be fun. Very fun. If not a little spoopy. I haven't thought about what I'm gonna do about food. Or water. I guess I'll figure it out when I get to the trader, which I'll do now. I suppose I can get wood anywhere. I have enough. I don't need anything too crazy for the Horde Knight, at least the first one. Then again, I think I've learned my lesson about just smack talking how good I am at the game because I was doing that at the 105th episode of the Hardcore series and I immediately murked myself via gravity. I still blame that death on the fun pimps, but I set it to permadeath so it is what it is. The series is over. Here's an important thing. To see, am I gonna freeze? No, no freezing. Good, I like that. Hello, lumberjack. Are you a lumberjack? And you're okay? Do you work all night and sleep all day? Well, he definitely sleeps forever now. Poor guy. I got another skill point. Minor 69er. Oh, I can go up to three. Wait, really? That seems new. It used to be roughly every two strength levels you could go up one point in minor 69er, but they changed it. Very weird. See another lumberjack. You know, I'm curious. Do they give more XP than the standard zombies, considering they're strong? Hello. Watch out for that weird stumble mechanic. They seem to be capable of stumbling forward after getting whapped from the front. Doesn't make sense. 2,250 XP. Yeah, not bad. Now we know. They're better for the grinding. Gotta pay attention to my stamina. Still early in the game. Ooh, is this? Yeah. Lead. Marking this on the map. That's rare as hell. Maybe they're more common in the snow biome. I know the snow biome is where you get nitrate for the most part, but maybe it's good for lead too, considering the desert is literally just oil shale. Oh, another lumberjack. Howdy, dude. Gotta be careful not to power attack. Force of habit tends to dictate that I start my fights that way. I'm already out of stamina. That's why. Gotta watch myself. Check myself before I wreck myself. 900 meters. Ugh, it's a long ways to go. Perhaps they should design something in the code where when you first spawn into a world, you always appear within, say, like 500 meters of a trader instead of what they seem to do by default instead, which is nearly two kilometers. I love making you spawn insanely far from the traders. Is that a whole lion? Look at how it just kind of like jaunts back and forth. Very happy like. Okay, I'm done looking at it. I don't want to mess around too much. Yep, I'm okay with just running past the lumberjack. 
a little busy when I get to the trader before night falls. I almost forgot that I was doing a horde night every night. I was like, ooh, I can spend the night digging. No, I can't. But I'll run out of food. Stamina is going to be the closest thing we have to ammo in these early phases, or at least the pseudo-equivalent, because it's going to be all melee bases for the first week or two, and then we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do after that. Yeah, it's probably for the best to keep passing by these lumberjacks, we don't have time for them. They are just littering the road, though. Every ten feet, a new lumberjack, and a damn shopping cart. In the middle of the road, some kind of an animal just placed it there. Savages, I say. Savages. Don't mind looting these little bits of trash. As we learned in our first series, there's the occasional chance to get something truly rare, like rocket launcher parts. Hey, we're almost there. Looks like this town is not in fact in the winter biome, but it is nearby. Check it. I'm out of stamina. Not even gonna bother. I know better. I think I see houses or buildings roughly to the side there. Damn, this biome is super flat. Like, really flat. Usually it's a lot bumpier than this. But this means that this appears to be a trader in a town, which is good. Cobblestone? Don't mind if I do. Corn seed? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Almost there. Gonna prioritize building our little pseudo horde base before anything else. Iron, don't need to mark that, it's everywhere. Coal near the trader, do need to mark this. I hear more coal. Wonderful. If I remember correctly, speaking to the trader here will get me a full skill point. And I do want me a skill point. Oh no, it's him. Oh, this is gonna be great. It's no better way to insult me at the beginning of a series than to make my first trader wrecked. So dork. Hey, jackass, can I lighten that back? I can lighten that head off your shoulders. All right, what do you have? Not that I can buy anything. A stone shovel, stone shovel. What the? It's not going to help anybody. Resources. The water filters are the primary goal. Take this nearby clear zombies, but I'm not going to do it right now. While I'm at it, let's get out of here. Huh. Free XP wandering right up to me. Now, I'm not going to do this quest right now, because like I said, I want to set up my little baby horde base first. I have to get ready. It's doomsday. It's calling. Bunny. Nah, I'll pass. What am I going to do about food? I really don't know. I might just have to stick with eggs. Mm, eggs. But I'm, I'm busy. Could you not? I don't have time for this. In roughly 10 hours, you can just join the horde and attack me then. Until then, go away. You have to plant down a bunch of trees in this area. Start the wood farm early. Better sooner than later. Let's see, but wait. Since I talked to the trader, no, no skill point. I guess it's the parts of the quest beforehand that give you skill points. That's what that four was. Now the three times XP, like I said, there are some benefits to it, obviously, like leveling three times as fast. But the downside is that my game stage is gonna skyrocket. So the zombies are going to get harder. I wouldn't doubt if by day 14 we already had radiated and cops just rolling around during the horde night i say the horde night i should just say the night because every night is horde night we're gonna mark the night right here night trotto now i'm sure some people would argue it'd be best to spend the horde night in another poi but i tend to dislike them the ai finds sneaky little ways to ignore all of the traps that you set up in them just feel like the wait i have a club why did i do that with a stone ass I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend to understand. Probably gonna go even Steven between Miner 69er and Motherload. Just keep maximizing those resource profits. Wood is, in fact, the objective. I'm not looking to go up to Cobblestone yet. We don't have the appropriate tools to really do that quickly. Mostly because of clay. Stone comes in surprisingly fast. However, clay, not so much. Yo, is this lead? Really? Wow. Just the three core things right next to this trader. Now, if only it was like Joel instead of Wrecked, then it would have been the perfect location. Even better if it was the Wasteland, because then you have higher uh, game stage, loot stage, etc. Tree down, ready to go. What was that? Is that a crawler? I think I just... Oh, no, not a crawler. Damn, I hate these trees. Is this a fir tree? Is that what that is? I have no idea. Pine tree. Is it a pine tree? <laughs> what the... I really don't know, because I'm just not knowledgeable about these kind of things. Growing up, I was real good at climbing them, but I couldn't tell you what kind of tree they were. There we go. Yeah, they're pine trees. I knew it. Gotta keep everything nice and repaired, so we don't run into freak incidents where our things break right at the beginning of a fight. We don't need it. I don't see <laughs> any time during this series us doing questing or traveling about during the nighttime unless the zombie count runs out, because that can happen in the early days. If we kill the zombies too fast, they may actually run out of zombie count based on the day. If that happens, you know we're doing well. Look, but you're already missing your other half. Just go visit your legs in heaven. Mm -mm, wood. Am I nowhere near level? Okay. Well, we could probably set up our little crappy horde base. 
Right about now, we'll do it away from the trader. During the previous series, we built a little too close to Jen. Man, is this three crawlers in a row? In the same location? Very strange. But we learned our lesson about building too close to the trader because I had to make a weird little side bowl for our land claim block so we could pick things up. It was kind of funny, but I'd rather not have to do it again. So I'll be building over here instead. Yeah, around here should be fine. So let's go ahead and begin the process for that. It wouldn't hurt to at least go one layer down for now, preemptively. Actually, no, there's no need. No need right now. Don't overdo it. Do not overdo it. So we'll do a three by three. We're going to make this go up about three squares. So we'll start by upgrading this block. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead and upgrade the rest of these. Now we're going to do this all the way up three blocks and then make a nice little stairway up to me and then block that stairway with a hatch. Very simple. And then as things progress and get more and more uh, excessive, I guess, we will expand this upward a bit eventually and continue to make the, the sort of walkway that's going to be going on that will lead to me longer with more hatches. It's just the easiest and simplest way. This is the barbaric method that I prefer when I start most games. get your damn hoodies. That is so durable. I believe this should basically be it. Now I could put stairs here. There's no reason to, but I could. You know what, we'll even make it a little bit thicker. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And this is basically going to be it. I'm going to put a handful of walls. Hold on, finish that up. Put some walls right here, or even better, we'll put them on this side, like this. Probably go three high, right up here. Make a nice little roof to it, so they can't climb over anything or climb over each other, even more importantly, because they like to do that. Upgrade these, and then we're going to put a hatch right in this doorway. And then bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. I don't know who Bob is or why he's everybody's uncle, but he's your uncle. You can keep him. Go get the blocks under here as well. Ooh, I fell off. Damn it. Actually, you know what? I already got an excess of trees and wood so let's make it just one layer thicker oh no food and water um oh they don't start you off with any drinks do they they sure don't okay before the day is up i might have to go and sell some things and buy some drinks from the vending machine perhaps i think i'll stop building after this layer just put the hatch in the doorway and call it good because it shouldn't be anything too crazy hatch land claim i can craft these anytime i want for now this one will go right there we have the hatch here just like this Ooh. Horde base, sort of. Crappy, but a horde base. Now I need drinks. Now you can conserve a surprising amount of food and water by just not sprinting all the time, but I don't have the patience. Let's see if I can't do this clear very quickly and turn it into wrecked for some money and then use that to buy drinks. Actually, doing this while I'm lacking stamina might be a bit of an issue. I don't know. Headlights. I can sell those. How much do they go for? 48. Hmm, I believe dupes are more expensive than that. Or dupes, sorry. I believe that the drinks are more expensive than that. You know what, we'll just check the price now. See if we can't sneak a couple things out of what's stored in Rex's area. I have nothing against stealing from him. And then sell it back to him, because he's an idiot. And he'll fall for that kind of trick. Oh, right. <laughs> I just got done playing Darkness Falls yesterday, so I thought I could break those open. Whoopsie daisy. Nothing in here. What about over this way? Food pile. Ooh. Ooh. And some murky water. Wrecked. You shouldn't have. I mean, he didn't, but I'm still gonna take you stuff. And open the porta potties so that Rex's place will smell like shit and he'll get worse business. Check the cement mixers for a forge ahead. I knew it. Every time. Or at least most of the time. And here, it's all hay. Oh, I can't, can't just take his corn. It's too bad. What about in here? Forge ahead. Drop the shale. I guess the golden rod will take it. I don't know. Actually, no, I can go and get that anytime I want. No need. Ooh, bird's nest. Interesting how you can still blow up the bird's nest and trash by looting them inside the trader, but nothing else can be damaged. Ooh, more forge ahead. Damn. If I want to get those books quickly, maybe the best way would be to just follow the roads, interact with every trader I find, and take from all their workbenches. So they seem to have a plethora of them. I guess eggs are a good way to feed myself as well. Although I think water is going to be the bigger issue. Pumpkin seeds, corn, no pumpkin. Don't need farm truck. I guess that's why that one had seeds. What does this one have? Vehicle adventures. Neat. Chrysanthemum. Don't care. Murky water, though. That's good. How much will it take for a water? Even better if it's for a tea. 144 dukes. Rip off. Oh my God. 
this. How are my perks looking? You smell like dysentery, nerd. Let's go ahead and do this, and then that. We almost have enough for a whole drink. Look at us, moving up in the world. What else do we have that we can get rid of? Short pipes? Not gonna be needing them anytime soon. No, 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 don't do it. What does he have for food? In his own inventory. Also water, yucca, expensive blueberries. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. Gonna try putting your head in a toilet if you don't shut up, Wrecked. Now I should probably check my campfire. I don't have a campfire. Maybe I should build a campfire and then check it. Oh, it's 1800 already. Damn. Let's go ahead and craft a campfire. But I need to see exactly what it's going to take to craft water. Do I need something? I need a cooking pot. So I need 600 dukes. That's the goal. So we'll try to achieve that before the horde night begins so that we can cook some water for the tent. Wait, why do I have two water in my inventory? Where did those come from? What the wait? Huh, weird, but okay. Maybe they appeared as a quest reward and I just didn't realize because they were in the hot bar. That sounds like me. Now, how are we going to get 600 dukes real quick? Like, taking apart these trash cans could help. The organic polymers are worth quite a bit. It's what? Three dukes per polymer? Not bad. Not bad at all. Santhanum seeds don't need it. Rash? I mean, mailbox. 1900. Check the mailboxes. It never hurts to do so. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Free learning. Education on sale. Got some brass. Could sell that. Break this down. And then this whatever thing. Water container. Bird's nest. No way. Take that apart. The trash. Ooh, it's getting uncomfortably late. Tires for scrap polymers. How much are these worth? 134. I don't think we're going to achieve it tonight. It's definitely too early to be tempting a quest. You know what? How much is a chrysanthemum worth? Two. Really? So I can just take these apart for dupes? Huh. What about the cotton? Seven, four, <laughs> this, oh man. This feels like the most brokey thing I've ever done in this game, but here we are, farming dukes. I don't need to worry about the horde base, I think. So, we'll be fine for now. I guess the only thing I could really do to help it is set up a second hatch behind the one I already have. But apart from that, we're basically good to go. Actually, oh, okay, there's crawlers in the back of this thing. I guess that's free XP. Damn things. They're the sneakiest of the zombies, and that's why I dislike them the most. The sheer amount of infections I've gotten from just not paying attention to the ground, getting whacked by them. Little bastards. Oh, there's another one. Of course there is. Come on, stay down. Or just go down. Stay down, go, go further down. Go to hell. You're already on the floor, just keep going down. Those digest, eat. Let's take the rest of this. Ooh, more scrap polymers. Eat. Apparently hungry, so we'll just eat this now. Might as well. And I guess we'll just keep gathering cotton and chrysanthemum to sell it. Keeping an eye out for birds' nests because they have a chance for eggs. Mm, we love eggs. Just bare knuckle brawling Mother Earth here. Don't mind me. We're almost there. It's almost nighttime. Should be a nice batch of XP. Another crawler? Feels like there's a theme in this particular episode. These things are everywhere. Cloth? Can't go wrong with that. More scrap polymers. Yummy. Keep on aiming for them dukes. I'm sure the trader will be closed soon. I don't think I'll be able to get the full 600 that I desire. 60. No, not the feathers. This. 45. Only two. Hmm. There's more to do. We'll sell what we have now and see how things are looking. <laughs> Can't pick up rocks in the trader's place either. Just can't do anything. Shut up, Wrecked. I'm not interested. I'm gonna actually look to see if there's anything else here I can steal right in front of you. Nice trash you have here. Would be a shame if someone were to sell it back to you. What about up here? More trash? Okay. Oh, he's got beer. I stole your liquor, Wrecked. I hope you're happy. All right. Let's sell what we can to him. Cotton, chrysanthemum, goldenrod, bottle of acid. I don't know where I got that, but I'm keeping it. The rare. Is that the organic polymers? 458 dukes. Well, we tried our best. Let's see, we could sell the brass. What about the lead? Oh yeah, you get XP for this, don't you? And now that I have it on three times XP, that's gonna be pretty crazy. Sell the pipes? Sure, have some pipes. Lead? We're not quite at the 600 that we want yet. 560? Sewing kits don't go for much. Feathers? No? Sure, have some of the feathers. You don't buy bones, do you? Of course not. Animal fat? <laughs> do you want that? Here, have some animal fat. Sand? You don't want to buy sand? Oh, buys in increments of 50. What about the cloth? We're almost there. I could sell 30 of them for six dukes. Jesus, what a price. Sell those, I literally need one duke. Here, have some stone. And now we have, where, where's the tools? Right here, a cooking pot. Right, now we can now cook water. Shut up, wrecked, I'm not interested. Oh man, it's already getting spoopy. Uh, I did place a campfire over here, but I don't really care. I'm going to put it near the horde base. The horde base is our base base, after all. No point in separating them. Build another campfire. I'll put it right here, this little in-between spot. So if the zombies walk through there, they'll catch on fire. That'll learn them. Let's go ahead and do this. Put the cooking pot in here and start cooking our water. Four of them. On the way. Hooray. No food to cook. 
Nothing else to do. Let's just expand the base a bit more, I guess. Another layer on each side. Nothing else to do while waiting. Might as well get XP. Gotta get the maximal benefit of all this wood that we collected, after all. Oh, it's dark. I might have to... I don't know. I, I, I might cheat myself in a mining helmet. I know, I know. Shouldn't cheat. If I can't get one by day seven, then I'll do that. But the darkness can get a bit annoying more than anything. You can still operate perfectly fine, but as far as the recording goes, you guys aren't going to be able to see much. Mm, I do love that XP. <laughs> That's a lot of XP, honestly. Bars, come on, let's get another level up. Just a little bit more time in the night before it starts. I'm curious how many we're going to get for the first night. <laughs> Watch them actually rip out 64 zombies all at once. I have no idea what I'd do about that. We're definitely far enough into the night that we should be stepping back here. Here it comes. How many do we see? One, two, three, four, five. The points in a pummel peak, and here we go. A nice little concussion there. Oh, this thing hasn't even been damaged yet. Are they hitting the block above? They are. What the? I can hear them attacking the wood below. That's not good. Was that it? I think we're done. Surprisingly, that was easy. I didn't have to do anywhere near as much as I thought. Unless we've got another wave coming in at some point, but it doesn't seem like it. I will just beat up a tree until I get whacked from behind by a zombie, I guess. No need to just stand around and wait. I think I will circle around at least in hopes that I don't get flanked or something. I'm not seeing any zombies at all, really. I didn't count, but I think there was maybe like 10 zombies. No, it was a little more than that, but it wasn't too bad, all things considered. I don't like cutting down this fur during the horde night. This is just a little sus. Oh, well, here's something. Is that a horde night something or just a random something? I think it's just a random. Yeah, just a random. Just came out of nowhere. Look at these all that in a bag of damn tato chips. I don't know why I just said tato chips. Literally never said that once in my life. Is that a deer? I don't have a bow. I don't repair my stuff. No way I'm going to sneak up on this thing. Or try though. Okay, this should roughly count as being behind it. Sneak snonk, sneak snonk. You can't hear me and you can't smell me. Well, maybe. I don't know if my character has showered in a while. Sneak snonk. Sneak snonk. Gonna whack that booty. Yes, I am. Can't escape me. Nice. Now, can I make a bone knife? Knife. You know, I wanted to specialize into blades, but I panicked and put points into Pummel Pete. The tongue twister. Panicked and put points into Pummel Pete. Wait, no, I just made a bone knife. Stop that. <laughs> so put it right here. Boom. Knife time. I do, in fact, want to put points into knives. Because I'm leveling up so fast, I think I might just. But of course, priority numero uno is these perks. I must finish up Minor 69er and Mother Load before anything. Literally anything. Can I cook these eggs into anything? Or is that just a no-go? Probably just a no-go. I guess I could just cook up some charred meat. Not gonna be able to do much else with the meat for now. Now we eat eggs. These give what, five food? Here we go. This will equate to about 30, because I have six eggs. Mmm, eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Gotta love that protein. <laughs> Watch your cholesterol. Who does that? People who are looking to live past 30, I think they'll just keep collecting wood. Might as well. I don't see any other zombies, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Never hurts to have more. I mean, I, I, could, I could actually... You know what? Let's... Uh, no, it is still nighttime. They can sprint. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I was about to go and do that quest. Let's not do anything too uh, cocky. I don't want to have two different series end in the same week. That would suck. Like I said, and like I'll probably keep saying for a while, until it becomes a cemented commonality in the channel, the goal is always to make it to at least day 100 when it comes to these series. It just seems like a solid, nice, rounded out goal. Might be a little long for some people's taste, but this is long form content. What do you want from me? I try to edit out any and all silence that I can already. Mm mm, trees. I just heard a bush. What was that? What was it? Oh, it was me. I, I passed through a bush and freaked myself out. It's like when a dog wakes up in the middle of the night because it farted and thought that it was an intruder. I'm the dog. Or the fart. Whichever one <laughs> entertains your mind the most. Riveting gameplay. Cutting trees. Mowing them down. We might have to do ourselves a little bit of a time lapse. Yes, I think we will. So, I'll catch you guys. Either A, once the horde night kicks back up. Or B, once the sun kicks back up. Until then, au revoir. the morning ring-a-ding-dong, and with it, the end of episode one.
of the Horror Rush series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now.